Hi guys, um, I'm gonna come up, I'm doing a bookshelf tour today, um, but before I get into it, I just wanted to say um, thank you for watching my videos, um, and if you could like, subscribe, maybe hit the little notification bell, you get a notification every time I do a new video, um, and everything, I much appreciate it. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into the video. Alrighty, so here's my bookshelf. It goes floor to ceiling. So on the first shelf is way up here. Um, I have my Maze Runner series, All the Bright Places, the Seven Realms novels. Um, then I have the Lux series, The Darkest Star, Winter's Kiss, which is a very good book if you're getting over a book hangover. A list of cages, the selection books after, and then the Divergent series. Then as decorations, I have this little TARDIS ornament that my mom had gotten for me, and then this uh, Bible quote that I got as a gift for my birthday a few years ago. On this next shelf, I have To Watch Again Tonight and Reap the Gage, which I'm missing the first book. I don't know where exactly it is, but... I'll find it eventually. Then I have the Six of Crows duology, then King of Scars. Then I have the Star Touch Queen. <coughs> and then I have the System Divine series. And I also have the paperback of the first book over here. I don't know how I have two of the first book. Um, and then I have the Children of Blood and Bone uh, series duology thing. A Curse So Dark and Lonely, Crown of Feathers. Then I have uh, three books, these three, from the uh, Bookish Box, Girl of Serpent and Thorn, Season of the Storm, and Fable. Then I have Girls of Paper and Fire, Rebel of the Sands, and again, the first book in my System Divine series. And then I have just this um, little, I don't really know what it's called, oil smell good thing. Then I have this little ornament right here that says to the stars and back. Um, then I have these two little uh, McDonald's kids toy things. Um, next is my Shadow Hunter shelf. Um, basically anything from Cassandra Clare is up here. I have the beautiful box set of the Infernal Devices series. Then I have my um, original uh, copies of the Moral Instrument series, um, trying to get the new paperback version because I love the way these look. And then I have the first book in the Dark Artifice series, and then I have Chain of Gold, which is the first book in the Last Hours. And then I have this little pin that I got at Half Price Books. I have another little ornament. I have these flowers, a little piñata, and uh, some of my Polaroid storage. Then I have all these little fandom-y pins, basically any and all fandoms. I have them here. Then I have this um, felt board that holds all my pins. Um, basically everything on here is from the bookish box. Um, so I have the Cauldron Blessed pin. Um, I and then these. I'm not sure what these three are from. I think this is the Raven Cycle or something like that. I'm not sure. And I think that's Shadow and... I can't remember exactly, but I will figure that out. And yes, next up I have my Harry Potter shelf. Um, I have this beautiful Gryffindor scarf. Um, I have this London sock that I had gotten from an uncle. I have this um, a mug that it says I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. And it only is uh, shown whenever it has a hot drink in it. And I, in here I have some pens from Hot Topic, Box Lunch, those places. Um, then back here I have some keychains. I have a little Ron, a wand, and then a Harry. Then I have my little pygmy puff. Then I have this um, Harry Potter uh, wand pen. And then I have this wand that I got from Ollivanders in 
um, when I went to Universal Studios in Orlando. Um, then I have the Harry Potter books, this little ornament, and the movies. Then over here I have some Legos of James, Harry, Hermione, and Hedwig. Then I have this little squishy Ron. Ron with a Mandrake, a Gryffindor uh, bracelet. Then I have this Dobby. He always falls over, but I have a little Dobby uh, keychain thing. And then I have two Harrys, one with his wand and one with the uh, sword of Gryffindor. Then I have this little tin uh, that came with jelly beans. I ate them all. Uh, then I have this little plushie that I felt looked like Hedwig, so I put it there. And then I have my ticket for platform nine and three quarters, some stickers uh, to make a shot glass. And then in that box back there, I have all my chocolate card or chocolate frog cards. Um, I'll probably do an in depth, uh, like where I got all of the uh, merchandise and items in a different video. Um, cause I don't know if I have enough time to go through all my stories and all my things, but we'll see. Um, next on the shelf is my Sarah J Mass shelf. I have over here, Crescent City. I have the Portuguese version of A Court of Thorns and Roses. Then I have the regular version of A Court of Thorns and Roses. Then I have this, uh, card that I got in... Kingdom of Ash, I believe. I have this print that is uh, that I got in the bookish box. It's beautiful. Then I have this Throne of Glass. Uh, I think it's an anniversary edition or collector's edition. All I know, it's beautiful, and I have it shown for all to see. Then I have the rest of the Throne of Glass series. And then I just have a candle here, and then over here in this corner is all my Court of Thorns and Roses merch, uh, stuff like that. First up, I have this um, a necklace inspired by the Court of Thorns and Roses. Then I have this uh, tea infuser that's inspired by it. I have this little Summer's Court candle. Um, that I got from the bookish box, this, uh, the sword Damaris from the bookish box, and then this ring I got actually from a friend, I thought it, uh, this is what I thought the ring that Kale gives, uh, uh Selena in the Throne and Glass books, that's what I thought it would look like. Then I have this, uh, Valeris, uh, City of Starlight mug. Um, it's beautiful. I got it from the bookish box as well. Um, and on the other side is just the mountains. It's beautiful. And then inside the mug, I have three bookmarks. Um, this one is double sided. Um, I love it. And this one is, uh, inspired by Lucian and uh, Elaine, I believe. I And then this one is after the Shatter Me series. The rest in here, here are some. These just came with the pins, so one of them is uh, after uh, and they're just things that the pins came on so I can remember where I got them and everything. These are the Eye of Elena um, inspired jewelry. Then I have this, uh, beautiful Celtic Knot, um, bookmark. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Um, then I have some other bookmarks, knicks, knickknacks. Oh, I have some Harry Potter inspired ones. Um, Dobby, Hagrid, Hedwig, and I believe Harry. Yes, Harry. They're little magnetic ones. I never use them, but they're super cute. Um, then I have a family one, and then I have these tarot cards. Um, just flip through them really fast. They're beautiful. They're so gorgeous. 
I have a Katniss, and then here's the last one, and they're all just gorgeous. And then back here is a jewelry holder. Next up on the tour is um, my Percy Jackson and the Olympian shelf. I also have two tarot cards. I thought it was fitting to put them down here, and then the Golden Fleece um, inspired book candle. Then I have the Percy Jackson and Olympian series. Then I have the Heroes of Olympus series. And then I have the Magnus Chase book. I only have one so far. And then I have the Keynes Chronicles. I've had them since I was um, around nine years old, so that's why they're all battered and beat up. I'm hoping to get new copies of each version of each series. And then over here, I have the journal that came in one of the boxes with the bookish box. And then I have these little clocks that my parents got me from, I believe, Holland. The Jamaica box, my guitar picks. This is from Mexico that uh, my Spanish teacher let me have when I left school. My prom uh, corsage and another candle. And then my last bookshelf is basically any sort of classics or just kind of like older books. Um, I have the Outlander series right here. Then I have some Anna Karina, The Hobbit, The Giver, some Nicholas Spark books, The Night Circus, Wolf by Wolf, and The Generana's Labyrinth. Alrighty, so that's everything with my bookshelf tour. Um, I can let me know if y'all want like a more in depth uh, in my bookshelf. I can show show you and tell you all the stories about where I got the merchandise from, like my wand. It's a really good story, um, or anything else. Um, just let me know what y'all want to see, and I will show it to you. Um, blanking on what to say. Um, if you have any recommendations for reading, I'm always open to those. Um, and also check out my bookstagram. It'll be down in the bio. Uh, thank you. Bye.